Hi. <laughs> I'm Kelly. I'm April. And we are the Granny Nannies. Let's explain why we decided to call ourselves the Granny Nannies. Okay, go ahead. I don't know. <laughs> Good one, sis. Thank you very much. <laughs> no, I thought because um, there were just so many things out there that kids don't know. And we're both grandmothers, mm -hmm. and a nanny takes care of and children. Teaches. And teaches children. Um, and us, we're both um, retired, teachers. retired teachers. So granny and nanny just went together. So Lots of, lots of basic um, how-to stuff. How-to stuff, like the kids shouldn't really. But no. maybe didn't get an opportunity because of COVID or um, babysitting children instead of maybe learning how to cook or, I mean, there's lots of reasons why our young people may not know these things or maybe you do and you just need a refresher. Or maybe you just didn't care to learn it the first time <laughs> and now you really need to. <laughs> I think that one of the things that brought us to this channel was that as teachers, we've both seen too many kids mm -hmm. that can't do things that, as we were growing up, we just took for granted. Like, right. okay, I don't have a half a cup measuring cup, so what do I use? Well, you can use a quarter cup and do it twice, but there's lots of lots of y'all out there that that don't know those things so and didn't have the chance to learn them right um or you didn't care right. <laughs> but we were lucky we had a mom that um in the kitchen she took the time to teach us to cook she taught us how to sew um she taught us how to iron and a dad who taught us how exactly. to exactly work so we had to measure, measure. That way too. oh my gosh yes measuring tape and you had to be careful back then because if you didn't do it right, you were either going to have one or two um, outcomes. Yes. One was going to be, it was just going to look terrible like you were, had not a brain in your head. <laughs> or it was going to taste awful like you didn't want to put it in your mouth. Or you're going to get slapped upside the head. We're not doing it right. Either. That's right. Because you didn't do it right. The first time. Okay. Want something that we try to get across in our videos, I mean, excuse me, in our um, in our classroom, was to make mistakes. That that's life how you is learn. about of making mistakes. That's right. That's how you learn. That's how you learn. And that's how you get better. And so um, we're probably going to show you our mistakes. And like right now in the middle of this video, I the have to go going. Go the cookies are done. Well, actually, the oven beeping turned out to be a good thing because now we have tea and cookies, mm -hmm. which we don't do very often. But for you guys, we're going to do this. We're going to start off with how to tie a tie. <laughs> we hope. <laughs> we're going to do it at least two ways, maybe three. So um, just choose the one that works for you. Because I like a double Windsor, I think it's called. I think they're beautiful. And I like well. to be creative, so we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, well the first thing you need to do to tie a tie is find the tie you like. Now, this is my sister's favorite tie. It matches her shirt. <laughs> You're so full. <laughs> no, we borrowed the tie from my son-in-law. So, um, we do it different ways. I like to be more creative and let it flow. Um, so I'll do my way first and then we'll let April do her way. Okay, so the first thing you do is put it around the neck and lift up the collar. Okay, so then you're gonna put the big side on the top if you want to. And what is it? How do you keep it? Who is doing this? Sorry. My bad. Then I'm going to do this and maybe come up here and <laughs> too bad. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't know what she's doing. Look, I've got this nice little right here. Okay. And then I'm going to take it stopped. and then I'm going to just come up here. And 
Oh, that looks interesting. <laughs> that would look good on a woman. <laughs> yeah, so it's like so a jabot or stop, something. Stop. You know, with okay. a pan right in it. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, good Long. idea. Okay, 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 okay. Great. Okay, so if you didn't want to do it that way. I hope not. Let's let's try this way. Um, last time it was, the fat was on top, right? This time we'll put the spoon <laughs> on top. Do you really know how to tie tie? And then we're going to do this. But that looks interesting. You are so... <laughs> you've lost your marbles. Oh, look. I'm almost there. Look, this doesn't look right, but I could do something like that. Okay, I have it on top. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> that looks good. <laughs> nothing, there's nothing that says that there, you can have to tie a tie any certain way. Okay, this is my Yeah, there really is. This is my favorite. This is my favorite. Okay, so wait. So just, and this thing, you can't talk this time. Be quiet. Okay. Here's this tie. See, that is a good looking bow. So if you get desperate, guys, girls, that's all you got to do. You want to try it? <laughs> I can do a heck of a lot better than that. All right, so we're going to take the big fat part over and bring it up. Oops. Holding it with the thumb. Okay. And then we're going to switch. Okay, so now I'm going to bring it back around and bring it, tuck it in the back. So you have this, you have two right here. And then you're going to put your thumb on it so it stays put, bring it around, all the way around in front, up to the back, and your thumb's right there to guide that down. And you're going to, whoops, well, I've done better, but. Okay, fix your collar. In a pinch, looks pretty good, doesn't it? Guys, I feel really sorry for you wearing this stuff, especially when it's like up here. Yeah. Like a woman wearing a bad bra. It's, it feels True. so uncomfortable. Very. Um, okay, good job. So I think we're gonna try it again. This time though, I'm gonna, we're gonna see what it looks like when she does it on herself. So, cause a lot of you guys, you won't have somebody doing it for you. You'll be putting it on yourself. Make sure you have the tie around your neck. Take the wider part of the tie in your right hand and the thinner part in your left hand. The wider part should be longer the longer it is when you start, the longer it will be when you finish. Cross the wide end over the top. The short end should be about four inches long. Now with your left hand, take the wide end and thread it through the back side of the tie, like so. Take the wide end and wrap it around the back and then to the front. The back side of the tie will be showing. Then thread it through the front of the neck opening. Now you will see the inside of your knot. Hold the knot in place while you wrap the long part around the knot from right to left. From behind, take the long part of the tie and thread it through the front knot. Now tighten the knot and there you have it. Make sure your collar is fixed correctly and out of your way all the way around your neck. Great job, sis. Well, 
We hope you learned something today. Okay, the first thing I thought of was... She's nuts. Don't chew with your mouth open. <laughs> okay, yeah. guys, I know that has nothing to do with anything else, but don't well, chew with your mouth open. It's so nasty. And... Nobody wants to see your food. And the other thing is... When you hold your china, make sure you put your... <laughs> That's a fallacy. Make sure you that is not true. Up. You're not supposed to. Just remember, guys, if you get stuck and you just, no matter how hard you tried and April's video didn't work for you, you can always go to the store and buy a clip on. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoy tea time with the granny nannies. And um, we'll see you next time. Bye. Hi guys, if you enjoyed this video, please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share it out.